that it's a band aid um, thought, which at the end of the day is appreciated for those who can to be able to allow to alleviate the load of these teachers who have worked incessantly. Families will have to find creative ways to keep their kids busy over the holidays. This, as Quebec's families minister, is asking parents to keep their children home a little longer during the break. The province has cancelled Christmas gatherings in red zones as the number of COVID cases and deaths continue to rise. But parents say the messaging of what is allowed and not allowed is still very confusing and frustrating. They're feeling confused of how can you shut down bars, restaurants, and then you go downtown and the malls are packed. It, it doesn't make sense. I can't keep my children home from daycare. I'm an essential worker, so is my husband. So I can't keep my children home. Quebecers are still reeling after the premier cancelled his moral contract, allowing gatherings in red zones during the holidays. 1,345 new cases and 28 more deaths linked to the coronavirus. The province continuing its week-long trend of topping 1,000 cases per day. But the surge is no surprise for experts. Kids are in school, kids are in daycare, people are uh, back to work uh, to varying degrees. And so we're in a very different situation. The winter weather also pushes people inside. So your risk of contracting COVID and spreading COVID is much higher at this point. During the spring lockdown, daily contacts dropped, but at the expense of closing schools and a vast majority of businesses. The current partial lockdown is trying to achieve the same goal while keeping schools and stores open. Healthcare workers are exhausted, and so are daycare teachers who have been back at work since June 1st, many of them feeling left behind. This moral contract that he had offered, uh, daycares were not part of this moral contract, unfortunately, even though they have, these teachers have been working consistently. They were not part of it. And so they are expected to work through until we close on the 23rd. I do think it's last minute. I think they're desperate and they're trying everything they can do. So there definitely will be parents who will keep their children home from daycare. Will it be enough? Will it be enough to um, help the problem? I don't know. And will enough parents be able to do it? I don't think so. So we have to sort of adopt that mentality again and, and, and say, you know, we really are all in this together. You're only as safe as the bus driver who drives our kids to school and the grocery store clerk at the grocery store and that daycare worker and that nurse. And so we need to all do what we can to help each other through this. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.